guys welcome to my channel you're here because you want to know how to achieve basic cabin crew makeup i've got you say no more i did upload a video talking about my experience working for Qatar Airways as a cabin crew and since then you guys have been hunting me down you found me on instagram you've been sending me messages you want to know the tea you want the tips you want all the helpful information that i can give you to pass your cabin crew interviews i'm not a main person i decided i'm gonna start a series so in this series i'm gonna be giving you all the tips that i can to help you ace your interviews this makeup tutorial is the first one of the series and i'm gonna show you ladies how to achieve a simple yet professional makeup look to help accentuate your beautiful features and make you stand a chance of being selected for the job so without wasting time let's jump right in let's start with this tutorial first of all my hair is tied to the back in a nice ponytail and this is how you want your hair to be away from your face so here is done and I'll start by priming my face with a primer this will just ensure that your makeup stays and lasts long and it applies better I'm gonna try to simplify this tutorial as much as I can because ladies they're not looking for makeup artists and now we'll move to the eyebrows I'll just brush them up everybody has their own way of doing the eyebrows so I would advise you do it your way but if you want to see how I normally do mine then keep following so I just brush them up sorry guys if I'm looking at that direction my mirror is right there so I just brushed and started filling them out and I'm using a simple pencil this one is from NYX it's a really important works well so I just took foundation and uh, I'm using oops my pants are falling I'm using this uh, fancy beauty yeah. I'm using fancy beauty from so, oh my gosh <laughs> from Sephora. Yes, I got it from Sephora. But uh, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. And my color, okay, this is a little darker than my normal color, but it's fine. It blends out well. I like it. It's a uh, 430. In case you're close to my color or you're a bit, what can I say? Yeah, if you're just wondering what color I'm using, and blend, blend. Make sure to bring it down to the neck so that you don't look like you're wearing a mask. I like how foundation just clears all the imperfection on the skin. I'm gonna apply the concealer under my under eyes just to brighten it. The concealer I'm using is the Born This Way, the color Butterscotch. I will apply concealer. For a bit of highlight, 
and now I'll start blending my concealer. My ladies, you do not have to put a lot of makeup because as I said, you just want to emphasize your beauty. I'm using this translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I'm just placing it on the areas that I concealed. This is just to set my concealer so it doesn't move around. I'll let it bake for a while because I want this makeup to stay. Consider you going, let's say you're going for the interview, you're going to have a long day ahead of you, so you want your makeup to stay. Yeah? You want that heavy duty makeup. Next is eyeshadow. I'm using Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can use whatever palette you have, but you don't want to go for a smoky eye, yeah? You want to keep the makeup professional and quite neutral. So, first of all, I'm gonna go with this um, golden, it's called golden ochre. This color here, this is almost done. It's very loud. I'll just put that all over my eyelid. Just to create a base. The colors that you want to select are neutral colors that I mentioned. You don't want to go with a blue eyeshadow, guys. They don't want to see your makeup skills. Now I'll go in with burnt orange. Burnt orange is just a nice brown here. So if you're like me, but makeup elevates your confidence, make sure to wake up early and take your time to do your makeup nicely before you go to, to your interview. Let's assume you're going for an interview. So just a little bit of color. I'm gonna go with the Real Girl. Real Girl is this kind of brown red. That is done. Now I will clean up this powder. Next, I'm using Studio Fix from Mac to just set the rest of my face. dimension
So I'm gonna line my waterline with this Sephora eyeliner uh, number one. My eyes are tearing up. I have very, very sensitive eyes. And now I will do eyeliner. I'm using Sephora as well. And this is a which number this? Color block eyeliner. That one. Yeah. Color block eyeliner. Now I will just contour my face to give it a little bit of dimension. I like contouring my nose using my finger. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you that contour kit I'm using is from Anastasia Bermakins. I've had this for about close to three years. To highlight, I'm going to use this uh, highlight powder from Ingot. It comes with a sponge inside, so I'll just take a little bit of it. Find my highlight brush. I'm just gonna grab this one and just blend it. Blush is a must, my ladies. I'll just take it up. up. But you don't want to put too much to look like somebody just punched you. And this is the blush from MAC. It's called Sweets for My Sweets. Again, I've had this for the longest <laughs> period of time. For my lips, I'll just one of these so. For the lips, I'm going to use the classic Sephora number one. Lipstain. You could use a lip liner first, but for me, I just went and a lip liner. everything in place I'm gonna use the setting spray from MAC and that is how you achieve a tabbing cream makeup look at least that is how I used to do my makeup all the time for the flight as a cabin crew I will make sure to list all the I almost said ingredients <laughs> All the products that I used for this look in the description box and this is not by any means to say that you have to use all the things that you know remember the most important things that you need the can I say the mandatory things that you need a foundation your powder to set your foundation you need your blush you need your mascara you need your lipstick those five are the main things and make sure you have them you can use whatever brand that you have 
on the next episode i'm gonna give you tips on how to ace your cabin group interviews this is gonna be things to do on your open day on your recruitment day so please make sure to watch out for that you can turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever i will upload the video if you're not subscribed to my channel please please consider subscribing it'll mean a lot to me and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in another episode Ciao, ciao.